Union tells the miners we'll support you if you strike, but there'll be no national ballot. In April, the government wouldn't budge on its pit closure plan. Scargill called on all Britain's miners to join the strike. Now, there would be no turning back. The Nottinghamshire coal fields were the most productive in the country. Within days, in defiance of the law, Scargill's flying pickets arrived to persuade their Knotts brothers to down tools. Local union official and Scargill loyalist Neil Greatrex was at home. Phone when someone from the mines telling us that we'd got 300 or so Yorkshire pickets down there. Uh, I turned to Sheila and said that this is the start of it. So as he left home, he said, by the time I get home, we'll probably be on strike. So I just said, well, whatever, we'll get through, same as everybody else will. Well, I went down to the mine and I went to the guy that were in charge of the pickets from Yorkshire, asked him what his intentions were. He says, it's peaceful picketing, we just want to ask your lads to support us. I thought, well, that's fair enough, it can't be no fairer than that. Then one of Greatrex's colleagues, a disabled miner, tried to cross the picket line. So, about 40 of them got around the car and just picked it up and turned it over. So I went to this guy from Yorkshire and said to him, you know, I thought you reckon this were peaceful picketing. He says, you know the game. That was his attitude to, to what had just happened. Our buses started turning up for work, with bringing our lads into work, and I went on every one of those buses and instructed our lads to go through the picket line, carry on working, uh, whether them pickets were there or not. Soon, Neil Greatrex would hold the fate of the strike in his hands. Denied their right to a national ballot, he and the Knotts miners voted overwhelmingly to continue working. Within days, Nottinghamshire became a battlefield as thousands of pickets descended on the pits. But Thatcher had her own army. Good to be, good to be, good to be.